One of the challenges that we're facing, and my organization falls into the category of intermediary professional organization, is in the current context, on the one hand, funding support, which has traditionally been from Europe, is becoming scarcer and scarcer, which means that we are challenged to find funding from within the South African context. So that's the one challenge. The second challenge is that there is a growing dynamism at, at grassroots level. People on the ground are beginning to organize themselves in amazing ways. And there is less and less need or dependence on these professional organizations. So we really have to think of and find a new role for ourselves within our current context. How do you see the effect of the huge great economic upheavals that are happening across the Western world at the moment with the failure of the banking system mm. and the continued knock-on effects on governments throughout Europe. Is that affecting your organisation in South Ab Africa? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, a lot of our, our donor partners are European and the fact that they are European means they have been affected by the economic recession. So likewise, we as civil society organizations in the South have also been affected by this. And, and I think from a South African perspective, it's largely because traditionally we've been having these relationships of solidarity with uh, organizations in the North. And um, the economic recession is affecting us. It means that all our partners now have less and less resources that can flow um, to their partners in the South. What sort of changes do you think need to be made to ensure yourselves and your future against these sorts of uh, uncontrollable economic pressures? Yeah. I think for us, uh, um, uh, uh, something that we're definitely looking into is um, how can we source funding for civil society formations from within South Africa? It's not easy, but it needs to be done. Um, I don't think in South Africa it's a problem of resources. I think the problem for civil society organizations has to do with accessing the resources. Through uh, a business, through corporate social investment, there is money there. Government programs, there is money for development. So how do we begin to access those resources? It will call for particular relationships, both with business as well as with, um, with government. So, uh, yeah, how do we access it? We have to access it because I think it's about time that civil society from within South Africa is supported from within South Africa. And um, the, these old traditional relationships with donors in the north is definitely becoming something of the past. What would you say are the most serious issues facing you in South Africa in 2011? I think in South Africa poverty remains an, an issue. Over the last couple of years, there are just so many people who have fallen below the poverty line. And I literally mean people who go hungry, people who have no food. So it remains a challenge. Linked to that is the growing inequality. Those who have are just growing wealthier and those who don't are growing poorer. So as a country, we really need to find a way of, 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 of addressing the inequality issue. And in the new uh, development plan, some interventions are going to be made to, to address the inequality issue. Then, of course, something that we know for sure, over the next while, access to water, water availability, sustainable water supply is a, is a problem that South Africa is going to face. Then, of course, there is the whole uh, environmental struggles linked to, 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 to climate change. So it's going to be hard to see how we as a country balance uh, these uh, different priorities. The only thing that is difficult for us is where government puts the emphasis around climate change. For now, it sounds like the emphasis is going to be put on um, carbon emissions. And we are saying as much as you are going to be putting the emphasis on carbon emissions, you, we cannot do that without looking at how climate change is affecting the lives of very poor people in the country. So how do we find a balance between these issues? As we say in South Africa, balancing the green issues with the brown issues, that is going to be a real challenge. How useful is it to be able to come together at a forum like this one? For me it's very useful because suddenly 
I'm able to connect our thinking, thinking in my organization and our challenges as a country to the challenges of others. And when you get together with people from different parts of the world, you suddenly realize that we're actually faced with the same challenges. It's similar challenges that we are facing. And hopefully, we can learn from each other's experience. I would, I'm very open to learn from how others have addressed these problems within their own contexts and what we can learn from them and take back home to South Africa to address our own challenges. Yeah. Do you feel optimistic when you look to the future, to the next year, five years, ten years? <laughs> yes and no. Um, in spite of everything that, um, you know, sometimes one does adopt a pessimistic view when it comes to South Africa, but I think great things have been achieved in a very short space of time in the country. And it's one of the most exciting times to be living in the country. I feel a lot more positive. It's when I see how ordinary people are preparing themselves and bringing their energy to some of the challenges that we are facing. It gives me a lot of hope. What I'm seeing more and more is people being less dependent on government, looking less towards government for helping them solve their problems, but looking within themselves and trying to really, really, really harness their own resourcefulness in terms of addressing some of these problems. So when I look at what ordinary people are doing, it gives me a lot of hope, a lot more hope than when I look at what organized formations like organizations like myself are doing. Yeah.